I have a selection of four tasters here. So the dry is, as it says, dry, bone dry. You get a little apple -y flavor in the background. That's really nice. And uh, Brad, the uh, co-owner here, told me to skip to the strawberry kiwi next. There's a proper tasting order, just like there is with uh, wines. So the strawberry kiwi, which is also on the dry side, so these are not sweet at all. So you might think, oh, cider, I'm thinking like apple cider. Not at all. You get a little more of the, the fruit comes through, but it's really subtle and a nice crisp finish on this. So that's, I really like that. And then the orange is real subtle and it really comes through on the, on the finish. All of a sudden it's like, oh, it pops out. This nice little tangerine. And then the last one, the jalapeno cucumber, which you can get a whiff of the jalapeno, which you want to do a little right off the bat, mm. which is really neat. So you're like thinking, ooh. Yes. And a little jalapeno on the palate, and then that cool cucumber kind of balances it out. It's delicious. We actually took a dry cider, and we have a, we have a, um, a giant stainless filter and we recirculate it. So essentially you're infusing jalapeno and cucumber because if you ferment on jalapeno, you get what you get. You can adjust it any way you want or it gets the yeah. level of heat. It truly is you want. crap. In addition to all the breweries that we have there, I think we've got at least two or three cideries. We have a distillery, uh, two uh, Whatcom County wineries will be there. So all told, we're going to have like, I think about 35 uh, beverage uh, vendors at the event.